What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Princess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is free general flex reading for sign of Taurus. This resonates if you have Taurus in any aspect of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Sun, moon, hand, energy of your chart. Stuff is basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for July 2022 for sign of Taurus. Now, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates to your own specific story and situation. I um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,240 or something like that. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Love you guys. Okay. So I received a couple downloads as I was meditating on your energy for July 2022. We've got Nightingale and Dolphin. Um, the channel messages I received was um, a very ill Sagittarius is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life and a very significant fight, some between an Aries and a Taurus, some between a... Um, Libra and a Taurus is about to become very, very, very significant. Some between a Gemini and a Taurus, too. It's about to become very significant. Life-altering is what I just heard. Life-altering. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, somehow, a ill Sagittarius is significant in at least one of you guys' life. I feel it might be a parent or a family member or, um, or something of that nature. Um, it could be a co-worker or a um, neighbor or a community member or something like that, some kind of ill Sag energy. Uh, I feel it's an adult that could have Sag and their sun moon rising, Venus, or their mid-hand energy for charts. It's about to come very, their illness is about to become very significant in your life. So um, for some, you could be their caretaker or about to be the caretaker, I'm feeling. For some, um, you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, a significant... Um, argument hopefully it's not physical hopefully it's just verbal some between a taurus and a libra some a taurus and a gemini and some a taurus and a um who was the other one libra gemini and there was another one aries is about to become very 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 significant so you plug it in how it resonates there taurus Messages you have signed for us. Man holding a coin. Experiments to just you have for collective trickery. A betrayal from a Taurus lover is about to become very significant. A betrayal from a Taurus lover is about to become very significant. So, one of you guys, you have a. Um, it sounds like you Taurus have a Taurus lover. It sounds like one of you guys have a Taurus lover. A betrayal from a Taurus lover is about to become very significant. So I think one of you guys has a Taurus lover, is what I think. Um, and they're about to betray you in some shape, form, or fashion. Some betrayal from a Taurus lover. So I think you Taurus has a Taurus lover. It could be a mask or a pen Taurus. They could have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, hey, or Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates there. Taurus is Taurus energy. Experiments to do, you have some Taurus.
A fire sign is about to fight fire with fire. Know this. In a very smart way. A fire sign is about to fight fire with fire in a very smart way. So Aries Leo Sag is about to fight fire with fire in a very smart way. So somehow you're dealing with fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, and they're about to fight back in a positive way. It doesn't sound like with physical violence or anything like that in a very smart analytical way is what I'm presuming. Uh, tower, solid foundation, success with effort, pig, beware of greed, shark, take care, or, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Nightingale, number 43 could be very significant number one's life, number 43. Also, number 39, number 32, number 31. Okay, 39, 32, 31, and then we have 43 on the board. That could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Um, 31, 32, 39, and 43. Also, number 36 and 37 and 46. Number 36, 37, and 46 as well. You plug it in how it resonates for us. Nightingale. A Taurus is about to communicate with someone they never thought they would. Some considering taking on foster child and children. Okay. Um, so one of you guys is considering taking on foster child or children. So you're about to communicate with someone you never thought you would. So I think this is the state in this aspect. Um, inquiring about um, the process of taking on child or children. So foster parenting. Um, I was a foster child, just let everybody know. I was a foster child growing up, child of the system. Um, and I'm sure you know this, whoever you are considering taking on foster child or foster children, you get paid. You get paid by the state. Um, I'm sure you know this, um, to take on foster child or foster children. So um, I, hopefully that's not why you're doing it. It's because of the money. And I'm just being for real. Hopefully that's not why you're doing it. I'm not saying that it is. I didn't hear it was. But um, from a former foster child of the system to one that's contemplating an adult taking on foster child or children, hopefully your heart's in the right place. So, Nightingale, you're going to speak out and communicate with, I think, the state or somebody that runs the program for their foster child or children. Yes, you will get paid for it. But I think you already know that. And Taurus is about to inquire about being an advocate for alcoholics, alcoholic, alcoholic recovery. And a Taurus is about to inquire about being an advocate for alcoholic recovery. So you're going to use your nightingale beak here and communicate with somebody about being an advocate for alcoholic recovery. I think you used to be an AA or you used to be an, um, an uh, you're a recovering alcoholic whoever you are, if that message applies for you. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So you're taking on the air sign energy and you're um, communicating. So good job for both of those. Hopefully the one about to do the foster child or foster children, your heart's in the right place. Because like I said, I used to be a child of the system. And of course, both of my kids are not child of the children in the system. Um, they're not at all. But I was. And I was treated differently. I just was. And that's the truth. So please don't do that to ch uh, foster child or children, especially if you have biological child or children. If anybody needs to hear that. Dolphin.
A whirlpool is about to become very significant at Forces Live. In the ocean. Okay, I heard a whirlpool in the ocean is about to become very significant in Forces Live. So um, you could be, you could have a whirlpool in your home or somebody else's home. Maybe you're going to visit somebody's home and take, participate in a whirlpool um, and um, ocean. So I think one of you guys is about to visit, visit the ocean or somebody you're connected to is. Um, maybe you're going to swim with the dolphins. Hey, just saying, just saying. Trickery. A Taurus was lied to in a huge way. A huge, huge, huge way. One has already learned this. One is about to. A Taurus was lied to in a huge, huge, huge way. One of you guys has already learned you've been lied to in a huge way. One you're about to. Um, so deception, lies, trickery. And a divorce from a Capricorn is about to free a Taurus. They are about to be so happy. And a divorce from a Capricorn is about to free a Taurus. They're about to be so happy. So it sounds like your divorce is about to be finalized here, Taurus. It's from a Capricorn energy. Uh, Capricorn feminine. Cap fem. So a caps fem. Um, so you're a Taurus masculine, I'm presuming, and it's a caps fem. And it sounds like the divorce has not been finalized yet, but it's about to be. I think she's lied to you. She's deceived you. She's done the most, probably. And I heard it's going to make you so happy. So... You plug it in how it resonates there, uh, masculine Taurus. You're dealing with the cap spin, if that resonates for you. Sabotage in a workplace is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you're about to be the one about to be sabotaged. For one, you're about to learn of the sabotage on somebody else. Okay, I heard sabotage in the workplace is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. For one, you have you are the one that somebody's sabotaging. Um, for one, you're about to learn of somebody that's been sabotaged. Sounds like already in the universe been sabotaged. You plug it in how it resonates. So trickery in this aspect is sabotage in the workplace. Man holding a coin. A very wealthy masculine energy is about to come towards a Taurus with a wonderful business idea soon. He knows you have lots of creative ideas. Okay, I heard a very wealthy masculine energy is about to come towards a Taurus soon. Um, he knows you have a lot of creative ideas, so he has a lot of money to invest in your creative ideas, Taurus. Um, if this resonates for you, you're a Taurus feminine. Taurus fem. One, you're a public speaker. One, you're a public speaker. So for one, you're a tourist fam public speaker. For one, you could just be a tourist fam. One, you're real estate. One, you're real estate. So one, you're real estate and one, you're um, a tourist fam public speaker. I think you're both tourist fams. One, you're a public speaker. One, you're real estate. But this wealthy masculine energy knows you're very creative. So both of you guys are very creative. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. And he has a lot of money for investment and he's about to come towards you for a creative idea. Um, he knows he wants to invest in your creative ideas. So he doesn't want to lie to you, steal from you. He, uh, it sounds like he wants to invest properly into your creative ideas. Like he wants to pay you for your ideas and your work and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, it sounds like he has a lot of money to invest in it. And that's really beautiful. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. 